A former US drone operator has been awarded the biennial Whistleblower Award in Germany. Brandon Bryant revealed details of the secret program that he was working on. RT spoke with him right after he received the prize. The people that are giving the order to kill, they don't care. They don't care who gets killed as long as their target gets attacked, as long as their target gets killed. They'll, they'll, they'll take out however many people that they can in order to get their results. The technology itself isn't bad, the way that it's utilized and the way that people go about hiding things, that's bad. I've lost a, my friends and family. Uh, I have no support structure. I don't, I, I'm, I'm by myself. Um, even though I get, get support from around the world and people send me their love and care, I still, I'm still by myself after all of this. Well, Brian got the award for revealing the U.S. Ramstein Air Base in Germany, transfers data between U.S. drone pilots for missions in the Middle East, Afghanistan and Africa. Earlier this year, he opened up about his work in a live interview on RT. We killed people that we, we really didn't know who they were, and there was no oversight. And I, I just know that the inside of the entire program was uh, diseased. I actually talked with a lady uh, whose husband uh, was killed, whose husband and brother was killed in a drone strike. I talked to her uh, face to face and she asked me why her husband and brother had to die and uh, they weren't bad guys and uh, I just looked at her and I said I, I don't know and that, that's not the really the best thing that I can tell someone who's asking questions about why someone that they cared about was killed and, and they need to know the answers and the the really truth hard answer to say is that I'm sorry that uh, the mistake happened and uh, I'm doing everything that I can to prevent further mistakes from happening. Well, previous recipients of the Whistleblower Award include Edward Snowden, who sought asylum in Russia after exposing the NSA spy program. Chelsea Manning also received the award for leaking documents about the war in Iraq, which earned her a 35-year prison sentence. They're perhaps the best-known figures in the U.S. crackdown on those who want to speak out. But seven others have also been convicted of espionage in the U.S. under what some call Barack Obama's war on whistleblowers. They received a total of 751 months behind bars. And the prospects of reprieve aren't great. Obama has pardoned fewer prisoners than any U.S. president since the 19th century. Despite all the risks, it hasn't stopped people from revealing the truth. This week, a whistleblower released information that shows the massive failure of America's drone operations. The unidentified person has already been dubbed the new Snowden. The so-called drone papers have been published on the Intercept website and detail U.S. strikes in Afghanistan, Somalia and Yemen. They shed light on some sensitive information that Washington would presumably prefer to keep quiet. Well, we asked the U.S. Defense Department to comment on the leaked documents, but it responded, saying it does not discuss the details of classified reports. We spoke to Annie Mash on a former MI5 intelligence service agent. This whistleblower is actually doing a service, not just to American citizens, to alert them to the, the war crimes that their government is committing, but also to alert the world's population um, to what's going wrong. So at least once we're informed, we have a chance to push back, to fight for justice. It's time that the American people did wake up to what their government's doing, and the UK people, because some of these drone strikes are coming from the UK, and they are killing thousands of people, thousands of innocent people. It always takes a few brave souls to speak out and take a huge risk of years of imprisonment to actually confirm what is already known, which has already been known for many years and um, has concerned certain people, but has not caused outrage across the West. This new whistleblower knows what the risks are and still thinks that to follow the conscience, it's much more important to speak out.